Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to create a game called Catch the Fruit in which we will be analyzing our hand so that we can move our character from one place to another place and we have to collect all the uh, apples all the fruits falling from the sky. We will be using here hand pause classifier that we have already discussed in, discussed in the previous videos. So instead of discussing that uh, working and applications and the algorithm behind the things we are directly going into the coding part. But before going into the coding part, we have to set up the stage. So firstly, go to sprite options and add monkey. This and again, you have to add the apple as a fruit. This apple will fall from the sky and we have to collect this apple with this monkey. And uh, also the background too. I'm just uh, saying it to sky blue. Okay. Firstly, this apple must be must remain hidden. So sprite dot hide then i have to we have to create a function which will we we will be calling this function again and again so fall the name of the function is fall you can give any name you want to give so we have to create the clone of this apple so that every time we get a clone at a random location that will fall from the sky so sprite dot create a clone and sprite dot and any time this clone is created we have to show that clone and import random random this one this random module will generate a random number in between a given range so n n is our number so n equal to random dot rand and int in between minus 200 to 200 so we are giving this range minus 200 to 200 for the value of x so every time this fruit must fall any of the location from the sky and uh, we will be giving this value as the value for x so sprite dot sprite dot go to x y n comma 150 so 150 is the fixed location for our sprite so every time sprite must start from this location from the sky and so i'm i'm sorry i'm writing the code for the monkey here so copy that code and paste over here in this apple okay okay everything is done now call this function this is done while true so sprite dot change y change y by minus 2 and if sprite dot is touching monkey or that means if the sprite is touching the monkey this is the first case and second case is if the sprite is touching the floor for the floor we have to give the coordinate value of the y so sprite dot y equal equal to minus 160 so what will happen in this case we have to hide the clone sprite dot hide sprite dot hide and we have to call the fall function so that this process will repeat again okay let's just check okay the working of apple is fine we have to write the code for this monkey now in the monkey we have to import this uh, hand pause classifier so pause equal to pause dot net classifier so this will be helping us for detecting the hand in the frame so pause dot video turn on the video with a given uh, transparency so i'm fixing this to 60 percent while true uh, pause dot analyze hand. we have to check if the hand is detected if uh, pause dot is hand detected if the hand is detected sprite dot go to x y which location we have to give we have to give the coordinate location of our hand landmark location of our hand our hand this is the uh, landmark for different different locations of our hand landmark numbers for different different locations of our hand you can give any value you want but for now i'm fixing this to coordinate number four which is the top of our thumb so pause dot get hand position 1 is for x and 4 is the 
landmark number in the same way pause dot get hand position 2 is for y and 4 is a coordinate okay this is working now and uh, if if sprite dot sprite dot is touching apple so sprite dot is touching apple what is what will happen here sprite dot play until done we have to play a sound here for adding the sound go to the sound option and uh, search for sound over here so this is the sound we got here and uh, go come back to the python um, platform and type the name of that particular sound so c h o m b sound okay now let's run the code this will take some time for uploading the module so this is how our monkey is tracking the uh, thumb location of our hand every time it's collecting the apple it's creating the sound skip this part collecting the apple and if it's touching the floor apple must disappear and again fall from the screen.